Our constituents care deeply about our health care system. Wouldn't it be wonderful if this government cared deeply and not just cut deeply when it came to the health care system? We're debating a bill called putting our pa that is supposed to be putting our patients first. The minister took this opportunity to speak about um, you know, the, his three fine hospitals and had been involved in, in prior murders. And there are a lot of mergers and splits on, on, the, uh, on the horizon, especially when it comes to, uh, to my riding and, and uh, Central East Lynn. Um, and people and communities have invested a lot in those hospitals through the years, community fundraising, um, you know, ensuring that their health care is as strong as it can be locally. I get really nervous when I hear the government talk about improving and modernizing the old buildings only and not improving health care overall and saying that, you know, how will we be able to strengthen the health care system in these aging buildings? Absolutely, we want to have safe facilities, um, but brand spanking new. To hear that, I wonder how badly our communities are going to get spanked when it comes to health care, because these mergers and bringing everyone from Rouge Valley and Ajax, Pickering, Lake Ridge, Port Perry, Bowmanville, combining, connecting, splitting, uh, merging, you know, these, these decisions should be made in consultation with our communities, and right now, these decisions are not being made in our communities. They are being made in back rooms. Communities don't even know this is happening because it's all happening so quickly. Um, you know, mergers since the 90s. Minister, where, where is the evaluation of the first round of mergers and the, the, the independent assessments? Um, executive salaries have increased faster than inflation. They've cut thousands of workers. Hospital workforces have shrunk, and we're having a, a pre-merger celebration 